Hi! Today we'd like to talk about uh, Hans Grohe. Hans Grohe is uh, our favorite valve here at Northport Bath. And uh, let's get started. Uh, it comes in two boxes, like a lot of the other ones. This is the rough end box, this is what the plumber needs to get going. Um, nothing special about that. And then it comes with a trim box, all the fancy parts in it. This one happens to be chrome. And uh, we'll take a look at their handle because that's the most important thing about the Hans Grohe. Hans Grohe, if you watch the other video on Hans Grohe, uh, makes a valve that will do several different things. It has an integral diverter. It has a separate uh, temperature control. Uh, the only other people that have anything remotely like this is Delta. Uh, this one, if you rotate this like this, uh, the, say the shower head comes on. And it always warms up to the same temperature because this little part rotates with it. Sometimes this little part is in a different shape. It might have a cross handle. It might have a more modern looking thing. If you buy, that's a thermal balance one. If you buy a thermal balance two, uh, you rotate it this way. The shower head comes on, warms up to the right temperature. If you rotate it like this, then something else will come on. Say if you've got a tub, the tub will come on. The temperature does not change. Or if you have a handheld shower, maybe this is connected to the handheld shower. So you turn this on, the handheld shower comes up to the same temperature. Uh, if you buy a Thermal Balance 3, it, it, it'll do three different things. Turn it this way uh, for the shower head. Let's say you turn it this way for the handheld and you turn it this way for, say, body sprays. Or, uh, there's a little bypass in, in that, that your plumber can hook up so that this would be the shower head, this would be the handheld, and the third position could be both of them. Both of them come on at the same time. So that's pretty unique. It has an integral diverter, and nobody else makes anything remotely like this. And uh, these things are well, they're German valve, although they do have a big factory down uh, near Atlanta. It's extremely well made, very well machined, very heavy. So let's get down to the cartridge. This is the cartridge. Uh, same thing, very heavy, very well made, well machined. And um, this one, if you'll notice in here, has uh, these big ceramic discs. There are the white ones in there, and as if I rotate this around, maybe you can see them moving. Let's get them out here so you can take a look at them. The only other manufacturer that had uh, ceramic discs was American Standard. But American Standard, I don't know, for many other reasons, I don't particularly care for them. Customer service is one thing. Okay. So there are the two ceramic discs. Let me scoot them off here so that you can see them. They're covered with grease. Okay. There's, there's what makes this one of the better valves on the market, just the fact that it does have ceramic discs. And as you can see, they're quite large. Uh, if I uh, you look in here, there's another little seal in here. Let me see if I can take this out here. There we go. This is not a pressure balanced valve. It is a thermostatically balanced valve. And that, that's, this is the cartridge that does that. Hans Grohe is not the only one that makes thermostatically controlled valves. A lot of the other companies do. Kohler makes some and Moen makes some. I don't, uh, but uh, Hans Grohe and Grohe were the two companies that kind of invented this. This is filled with, uh, it's sealed and filled with a, a form of paraffin wax. And as the uh, temperature increases or decreases, suddenly there's a plunger inside here that's the, that will shut off the, shut off the hot, or shut down the hot water, I should say, uh, so, that it, so that you don't get scalded. So that's, that's about it for Hans Grohe, but it is a, a, a very well made engineered valve and long lasting 
even the machining on these valves it doesn't show it is very well done nobody looks at this but it is quite uh, quite well made and that's the reason one of the reasons we like Hans Grohe so much it just does a whole bunch of different things it's a little more expensive than some of the valves we've been looking at but of course they don't do nearly uh, what this Hans Grohe does so thanks for watching